I'm Sean McClellan, and this is the penultimate episode of the morning announcements for this year. I'm Ava Shuffler, and this is my penultimate episode ever, whatever that word may mean. I'm Sid, and I've got your what is that? I'm Tyler Steinberg, and I got this week in your map from sports. I'm Hannah Broxman, and I've got this week's around campus. I'm Cumulo Nimbus Charles. And would you look at the size of those clouds? Good morning, Mepham. Today is Friday, June 3rd, day 5. Please rise for the pledge. I, I pledge allegiance, allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Everybody, the fourth quarter is ending soon. Oh my God, school is almost over and summer is right around the corner. It is finally time to throw away all those papers and put the Chromebooks to rest. Well, calm down, Ava. We're not done yet because we've still got finals and regents, which are just around the corner. Yay. Great. And also, can we stop yelling, please? Sean, zip your lip. Well, I'm not zipping my lip now, but I will have to keep quiet Monday at movie night. I'm Sammy Rooney on the Mepham football field, where on Monday, the student government will have to set up an entire movie theater outside, of course. The event was postponed due to weather, which means that the sand lot, which was voted by the student body, will have to wait. Be sure to get your movie tickets from a student government member for $5, as they'll be double at the door. Bring a comfy blanket, because there is no more time to reschedule if there's a blizzard. Snacks will be provided and sold by members, all to raise money for next year's Fall Fest. But I'll be bringing Rocket Pops instead. Reporting for B&B, I'm Sammy Rooney. Back to you guys in the studio. Rocket Pops are my favorite patriotic treat. Speaking of being patriotic, Memorial Day kicked off with the Jones Beach Air Show. The weekend was successful in honoring those who have passed serving our country and to get together with loved ones. I had a barbecue and there was great potato salad, not gonna lie. Awesome, for you. Congratulations. Yay. The special Monday proved to be what it is every year, a great time for people to celebrate their heroes. Right after Memorial Day weekend starts Pride Month. Earlier this week, the GSA Club had the chance to talk to a drag queen and learn more about Pride Month and what it's all about. Well, I'm very proud to say we have an award-winning segment. Here's Sid Elisetti with What Is That? Let's find out. What is that? Hey, everyone. It's me, Sid, with your What Is That? Oh, would you look at that? It's already June. This month signifies Pride Month. It celebrates the many years of struggle to acquire civil rights and equality for the LGBTQ community. Why is Pride Month during June, you may ask? Although there have been many Pride movements dating back to the 1920s, the event that actually started the LGBTQ rights movement occurred in June of 1969. During the morning of June 28th, police officers raided the Stonewall Inn, which was a popular gathering spot for young members of the LGBTQ, for selling alcohol without a license. They were being harassed, and so the witnesses decided to become upstanders and fight back against the police. There were riots for five days, and these became known as the Stonewall Riots, or the Stonewall Uprising. Anyways, that's it from me, and now you know. Now back to you guys in the studio. Thanks, Sid. You make me smile, just like Operation Smile does, who had their end-of-the-year picnic to celebrate how much money they have raised and a great year. Operation Smile is a nonprofit organization dedicated to helping children with cleft palates get better surgeries. So far this year, we've raised around $1,000. We've done bake sales, other fundraisers. We're going to have a bake sale later on today, so check it out. This year has just been so great. Next year is going to be amazing, so make sure you donate today. A great picnic indeed. Yummy, yummy pizza. Yummy, yummy bagels. Seniors who are a part of Sports Boosters will be having a breakfast right before school in the cafeteria on June 8th to celebrate their success on the courts, the pool, or the fields. Speaking of success in the field of sports, the BMCHSD girls flag football team won counties, and they're going to the New York Jets Training Center to compete for the first ever girls flag football championship. Here's more on the story in this week's Around Campus. <laughs> Thanks guys, today I'm here with Luciana Saducate, who is one of the players on the inaugural flag football team who recently became county champs. So welcome Luciana and thank you for being here. Thank you for having me. I'm so happy you could be here. So what made you want to join flag football? 
So I want to join Flag Football because it was a new program that was being brought to not only Mepham but our district and I thought it seemed super fun and I really wanted to try out a new sport and some of my friends also wanted to join with me so you know we just joined together and I just thought it'd be really fun and I was right because I've had so much fun since I've joined. This, is a, this was a great way for the whole BMCHSD community to come together. It really has been. So what does it mean to you that you are on the first flag football team here in our district and are about to make history? It means so much. I mean, throughout my years at MEPUM, I've always wanted to, you know, do something big for our athletic teams. And being able to make history on the first ever five football team here at MEPUM and the whole BMCHSD district feels amazing, especially doing it with such, like, good people around me. It feels really nice. It sounds incredible. So are you ready to play at an NFL training facility? Honestly, I am. There's been very few times where I ever played a game or practice in a stadium or facility that big. And we've just, from the beginning, we have wanted to play somewhere. We've wanted to make it to New Jersey. And the fact that it's actually happening now is super exciting. And as scary as it might seem, I'm honestly just really excited. And I think I'm ready. I think that you and the rest of your team is ready. So, but before we go, I got to know. How does it feel to be ending your MEPM athletic career with this team? It feels amazing. Not only have I been playing with girls on MEPM, but I also made some really good friendships with the girls on both Calhoun and Kennedy, and I just thought it was a great way to bring the schools together, and I've made so many new friends, made new memories with new people, and everyone on the team is so supportive, so nice, and everyone's dedicated to the sport, and it just feels amazing to be able to end my athletic career at MEPM with such a good team like this, and also going so far. So I think it was the best way to end my athletic career here. I agree, that sounds like an amazing way to end. So thank you so much and good luck in your game tomorrow. Thank you. Welcome. So it's been a pleasure meeting some fantastic guests this year, and I'll see you guys in September. Now back to you guys in the studio. Thanks, Hannah. Still in sports news, June 7th is the annual Varsity M Awards to recognize varsity athletes who stood out this year and to honor seniors athletes saying goodbye. That's me. So. To wrap up sports, here's Tyler Steinberg with a week full of it. Pucinella to the house! <laughs> Thanks, guys. This is my last sports report for the school year, so let's make it count. Starting off with one of our two Nassau County champs, the softball team. The girls won county for the third time in a row with a narrow 11-10 win in Game 1 of a three-game series versus Calhoun, with Alana Morris having a grand slam to bring Meppen back into the game. The Pirates followed that up with an impressive 10-4 victory. Lily Epes, Gia Michio, and Giselle Delutri all tallying two runs, Giselle throwing a gem on the diamond and obtaining the win, and will look to defend the Long Island Championship title against East Islip this Saturday at the Morici's Athletic Complex. The girls are looking to go to states after not being able to advance last year due to COVID. Now, only the other Nassau County champs. Our girls flag football team was not only the first girls flag football team in Mepham history, but they clinched the county championship title as well. The girls will have an exciting weekend ahead of them where they will play Whitman for the Long Island Championship at the Jets training facility. Good luck to both teams in their quest to become champions. We can't forget track, of course. So state qualifiers are today at North Shore High School, and for the runners that do qualify, we'll head to Syracuse. Sadly, that's the last time until September that I'll be able to say this. That's all for you, boy. For BNB, I'm Tyler Steinberg, and back to you guys in the studio. Speaking of winners, congratulations to Jamie DeLuca on her achievement in winning the Photography Design Challenge. The challenge was to create a series of four photographs of a subject that would ordinarily be considered inconsiderate because of its size. Let's see the size of the clouds with this weekend. <laughs> 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 Come one, come all, here's the weather for you all. Is it just me or is it getting hot in here? Well, maybe that's because summer is fast approaching, almost as fast as this upcoming weekend. Today is going to be a scattered showers, high of 79, and low of 63 bonanza. Why is it a bonanza? I don't know. I guess we'll find it out together. How about we now take a good look at Saturday? This just in, crazy new weather news live right now. It's happening. Uh, South Belmore will reach a scorching, blistering, smoldering, 
blazing and absolutely roaring average temperature of 75, whereas those North Belmorians will have to face a comparatively bone-chilling, frigid, bleak, wintry, arctic, and undoubtedly Siberian in nature average temperature of 74. Huh, a real apples to oranges situation, isn't it? Well, as for Sunday, send in the clouds. Well, a few of them. Sunday is going to have a high of 73 and a low of 57. A perfect day to study for the Regents exams. And would you know that, it's the perfect time to send you guys back to the studio. Now for today's quote. When you are grateful, fear disappears and abundance appears. These have been the Mimi morning announcements for Friday, June 3rd. Have a great day, Beppo. <laughs> do this anymore. I'm done for the year. That was the, the most takes we've ever had. But it was like not even bad one. It was all good. <laughs> no, you can put it in because of my size. It just like, wasn't funny enough for Emily. <laughs> <laughs>